Imagine you had to describe the main landing gear of an Airbus A380 in a technical document. Do you write two gears in the middle with six wheels each and two gears on the outside with four wheels each? Or do you write two gears in the middle with three wheels in line on each side and two gears on the outer side with two wheels on each side? As you can see, that quickly gets messy, so different agencies set up their own notation system, but these weren't cross-compatible. That's why the FAA made a standardized naming convention for most landing gear configurations. I'm an aerospace engineer and the first part of the code defines the main gear. S for single, D for dual, T for triple, and Q for quadruple. If they're arranged in tandem, a number goes in front, like 2D for two dual wheels in tandem. This arrangement can be found on the A330 and the 767. But what about the belly gears? When body or belly gears exist, they're added after a slash, with the last number defining the total number of belly gears. For example, the A380's layout is written as 2D slash 3D2. Two dual wheels in tandem for the main gear, plus three dual wheels in tandem on the two belly gears. Gears. This shorthand eliminates uncertainty and ensures engineers, regulators, and operators all speak the same precise language.